Catholic has a standard offer that we make to all students, which is very strong, three A stars, and then perhaps a reduced offer if you do well in one of the standard examinations, the MAT, the TUMU, or the STEP. However, about 25% of our incoming class does not make our offer, and those are selected on other criteria, such as the personal statement and so on. The campus is one of the things I really liked about Warwick. There were a lot of open green spaces. It just like felt a very friendly, open atmosphere. There are a few things about the course at Warwick that really set it apart from other universities. Um, and one of the things that I've enjoyed the most has been the flexibility. So I, I've taken modules from Spanish, German. I've also done modules in physics, philosophy. And so I think it's really exciting that even though you've chosen to study maths and you get a maths degree, you're really not restricted with your module choice within maths or outside. The best thing about this place is definitely the people that uh, come into it. Uh, from the lecturer to the staff and of course the students, uh, they all gather together to bring a great energy to, to everything that happens around here. The thing that distinguishes Warwick from any other universities in the UK is that we're massive. This is a very large department and we cover all areas of mathematics. In the first and second year, we focus on what we think is the foundational areas of mathematics. But in the third and fourth years, things open up and there's just a huge variety of modules on offer. Transitioning from A-level or school maths up to university maths was quite a big step. The content is delivered via lectures containing maybe 300, 350 people compared to classes of 30 which definitely takes a while to get used to. But at Warwick they help you with this, so some of the modules, in particular Analysis 1, is taught in a classroom environment rather than this lecture environment to give you the extra support you need. It is a lot of contact time, but it does just mean that that bridge between school and university um, is a lot easier to cross. So when you first arrive at university, you'll have supervisions which are a kind of small group uh, learning environment with so either a fourth year undergraduate or a PhD student. In first year we have mandatory um, supervisions in the second year you have mandatory supervisions for the first term and then you can elect to take them into the second term and I did because they're um, really helpful when it comes to pinpointing something you might have a problem with. Just off the top of my head, some of my students have gone to work for the Bank of England for a defence contractor and to work in academia, and those are my PhD students. My undergraduate students have gone to the city to work in finance, to work in education and many other fields. Having done the secondary school teaching module at Warwick, I, I, I do want to become a teacher in the long run, and I had this uh, in, internship set up in Japan, which I found to be the career section at Warwick. Um, which makes job hunting very easy. But recently I got an offer to study a masters, so hopefully I will do that. Yeah.